Funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at Labor Day party. Don't worry, Shoddy, we'll get you to the Labor Day party. But I'm glad that we made the deadline. And I'm glad now I can spend two stress-free weeks in a good old Provision Oaks. Providence Oaks. Wow, what the heck is this? In 1986, look at that computer. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Ryan. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. Tomorrow I, I afternoon. I'll be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait. Yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Providence Thanks Oaks, so Oregon. Out, Mr. Coleman. September 1st, 1986. Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? I hope there's people in this game so I can run them over. Mail in our beautiful little lake town. And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Here we go, baby. On the open road. You know this is uh This is that. Yee yee. I don't know if I like that. I might have to switch the radio station. This lake it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Wow, this is okay, like giving me sir, flashbacks of where to I work. Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Seems simple enough. Oh. I start now. Wow, so pressing shift makes me speed walk. And like the sensitivity on my my mouse is like really fast. Wait, can I play with the oh, it's not a unless I'm tripping. I don't think I can play with the controller. It feels a little better. My speed walk. Alright, let's go deliver the mail. Come on! We gotta give her a name. Hmm. These look like bills. Bill one, bill two. Look around. We got a gas station. Coke ah cola cerveza. Dang. I wish they could make her run off the rip. Take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Oh, don't you worry. I'm working my way back to the car, sir. Freaky time about to start. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Pretty simple. Uh, I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, how do you go to I'm MIT and thought. become a mailman? Just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Wow, I'm really a mailman. What? Interesting graphics. 
Oh wait, do I have to? I have to walk to the front of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the robbers are gonna be out here. Oh, I wonder if they have package thieves in this. El paquete. No, no answer. That's the last of them. They got that Bronco. They got that shagging wagon on the other side. All right, come on, lady. Nope, oh, nope, that's it. Let's see what Jim Bob has to say. Frank Coleman's so, his name. Where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a me too, man. Do that for me? Sure, that thing's so easy. For that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait Ain't to that get the home truth. either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Ah, so this is her crib. It's not a bad crib, I'm not gonna lie. Walk to the front door of the house. Sure thing. And she has a dog. What's the dog's house name? Blinky? I Binky. Binky. That's not an eye, that's a dog bone. Wow, I'm tripping. Binky. Come here, Binky. I got my own dog. He's my getting he's about to get jealous. Can't have that. Weiss residence. Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Well, nothing like a little mom. Hold on. Meredith, is she living with her mom or staying with her mom? Earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. So they say. Tuesday, September 2nd. Good morning. morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh, see, like, I could be honest and be like, good morning, Frank, I'm ready to rock. Or I could be like myself and be, I guess, good morning. Ooh. There it yeah, is. I guess. Good morning. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Ooh, a map so I get lost. Think lost? I'm gonna get lost? Me? Bon voyage. They think so lowly of me. I used to run these streets. Postal services. Providence Oaks. Oh my god, there are characters. You know what it's about. You know what's about to go down. You know what the hell is about to go down. On my first day, too. Oh my god, it stops you! It stops you? Are you kidding me? You are joking. You're joking. Alright, so this looks like it's my route. Let's go around the lake. The state of Oregon, 1986. I wonder if this is an actual spot in Oregon. Providence Oaks, Oregon. I wonder if it is. Let me check. It'd be interesting if it is. Providence Oaks, Oregon. Probably not. Yeah, it's probably not. But I would be cool if it was. Okay. So. 
we have these to deliver and then work our way down. So this is north, so we gotta turn our boots around. That's what I was doing. Let's drive around though. Nice little houses, very very interesting neighborhood. Jackson Street. Look at that little house, the garage. Look at that one, double double garage. Oh whipping it. All the packages in the back just definitely broke. Alright. Looks like this might be my first house. I wish I could run. Sorry I'm in the way, sir. Oh. What what house is this? Frick. I didn't check the map. What house is this one? This is 103 Main Street. 103 Main Street. What do I get here? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Am I supposed to collect mail? 103 Main Street is not here. Uh-oh. Maybe I collect mail? I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. 207 Main Street. Le oh, see, okay, we have letters and then we have parcels. Okay. So I don't know what the heck these mean. Okay. So, 207 Main Street's down the street and then we work our way. Let's hit 500 Lake and then come back. So we'll just wrap around. Sorry for the trouble, sir. Oh, I gotta get on this side. Uh-oh, so I get pulled over. Yep, yep, yep. Don't want to create traffic for you. Let me just, uh, done skedat my way. Whoa! Oh, so I can hit them, but I can't crash into a person? Alright, so what do we got here? This would be the general store. But what's the Addy? Wow, I'm a terrible mailman. What's the what's the address of this place? So we have 500 Lake, 102 Lake, 200 Lake, 300 Lake. This must be Main Street. Is this Main Street? This is Main Street. What is this though? Fast travel? No, that would be very simulator of me. Hold on, let me see what package I had that was for Main Street. Wow, I'm like the worst mailman. Lake, Lake, Lake. 207. Pick it up. I mean, this has to be it, right? Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Dang, you know it's 86 when they're smoking cigs in the store. For college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22, 22 years, years. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's Can't let him know it's temporary. Bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. What does that mean? It's rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. I'm probably the most insane mailman person here. I'm gonna assume she got her mail. I'm going to get in the truck and head on down. On the open road. I'm actually in 
Enjoying, Enjoying this. this. Wow. I don't think I'd mind being a postman. To be honest. I feel like this would be like a... A nice job. Kind of just there coasting. Do what you please. Little steps in to be more healthy. Alright, we're on our way to Lake Road. Which is this whole circumference. Boom, 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 boom. Moe's Diner. Must be my... victim. There stands Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Well, shoddy, that's what it says on the door. Don't go tripping. This is 500 Lake. That's it tells me on the bottom left, too. Wait, that's even better. Meredith Weiss? As Meredith Weiss. That's here, her huh? name. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right? Oh, it's her. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. Wow, Maureen. No idea who she is. Long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To hey, whatever she says to make herself feel better in the mirror, man. Tell me everything. <laughs> Just need to see what Maureen be cooking up. What do you got on the menu, Maureen? We got some American. We got some 17. I don't know. That should be 17 cents. It's back in the 80s. Stop playing with me. <sighs> I do have work to do. See, I gotta, I gotta stay on top of my shit. Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? For realsy. Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> it's like I'm 17 again. She said she wouldn't take no for an answer. Let's test her. No, really, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Nonsense. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. Wow, she knows me so well. I hate blueberry pie. After school at one Did you forget who I was? Actually, I try to stay healthy these days. Yeah, I'm better on like a little diet kick. Summer's right around the corner, so we can't really be here eating uh, actually, all this sugar. I try to stay healthy these days. Give me the you coffee, though. Tell me my pie is a health hazard now, Miss Wise. I mean, look Ashley, at you. One blueberry pie. <laughs> And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Ashley sounds oh, like a male. Is everything okay, hon? Ashley just dumb burned the whole kitchen down. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, yeah, that didn't sound good at all. No offense, Marine, but I'm gonna get back to... I'm gonna back away slowly. Maybe you should check that out. Yeah. Maybe you should check that out. <sighs> Look at her. First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Yes, ma'am. stranger now. Yes, ma'am. Just dropped off your package. That's all I'm here to do. Stop playing with me. Into the crib. And let's skedat. Alright. Finish that one. We work our way back. Pretty simple drive. Let's enjoy the scenery. Look at this. I'm not gonna lie. This is a nice game. For 20 bucks? And then for Prime giving it to me for free? Yo, if anyone's interested in this, it's on uh, Prime Gaming if you have Twitch Prime. And if, by Twitch Prime if you have uh, Amazon Prime. And if you have Amazon Prime and you have Twitch Prime, you already know who to sub to. We gotta get that three up to, to four. Whoa! Almost crash my scar. My scar scar. Da dun da dun. 
Daran daran. Daran daran. Oh, look at all the birds, the trees. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta keep getting myself distracted. Oh my god, I can drift like that? That was kind of sick. All right, so we're at 102. I believe this is just male. And the next one gets a parcel. It's a good thing they don't charge me gas or have like me uh, measure my gas. Otherwise, I'd be out here. 200. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. They got the gatos. Uh oh. How many? How much? Much? How much money you guys want to bet? There's a crazy lady that lives in this. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Stereotype fits, man. Crazy old cat lady. And I'm not a mailman, I guess, because I'm Meredith Weiss. I'm a Johnski. Hi, Miss. Jenkins. But you know we're not gonna get on in, into that because I'm Meredith. Shoddy old. Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This of course. is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years to be exact. But who's counting? Damn, I, her mom's twenty-two years ago. It's Meredith. Did she say, oh, she called me Elizabeth. It's Meredith. Oh, yeah, I'm being sassy. Want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me. Then. Yeah, Miss Jenkins, get you out of here. Take your teddy bear. Me, don't you? I'm sorry, I really don't. Of course, you're the, I'm gonna. I'm gonna remember her as the cat lady. Of course. Of course, you're the cat lady, and you've got more cats than ever. Uh -huh. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Who knows? Genevieve here. And, and Thomas, Thomas and Oliver. Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yeah, straight off of Amazon Prime. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. There you go. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Put tape on the neck, arms, and legs. Hmm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. <laughs> well, if you don't want Frank to feel up the packages, you gotta be. Mm, no, you know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. My riz would be too powerful if I if I said what I was about to say. I mean. See, this is the thing. Do I be an asshole and tell her, like, listen, you dumb bitch. It's a fucking bear. I have to grab it. I have to look at it as I'm walking it to your house. Of course, I'm going to notice what could be in here. Of course, I'm going to speculate, right? I mean, like, come on now. I have to take it out of the van and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. I don't think she likes Still me. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Dang, he doesn't want to even see her, so he's just sending her gifts to stay on her good side. I'm sure he means well. He's gotta soothe it, gotta sugarcoat that truth. Hmm. That's, what That's what he says. says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. What the hell? Even I forgot her name. Oh, I've created a backup. Let me talk to this man. Want a good shot? Do you want a good time after this shift? Want to go spend a good time to get me after my shift? Can show you how this mail. I can show you what the package I got. I ain't talking about no mail. In a few days, I won't even need that map. For real. I'm be like, oh, somewhere at like 200. This is 300 Lake Road, and we got Shoddy over there in the back. 
last package. These folks order. I guess it must be this guy. Oh, it's a girl. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Uh. Yeah, let me I'm introduce Mary myself Weiss. as who I am. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The, the goose. goose. Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Interesting. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. How am I not getting these? I think that was just mentioned in the beginning. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. One condition? If ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Sure thing. Alright. That's how All I always right, do I it. Promise. Something's wrong, I bring it in. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. Ah, it the currently radio. only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working Done, on Done, open, promise. fixed. Okay. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Shawty on the vehicle in her hand with the branch and she's going ham. Hey, all right, it looks like the last thing on my list is just to deliver the mail in Bear Creek and we done skidded our way over. And of course, now that I can work on the radio, What if these are actual songs? The next, the next right. There she is. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Oh, we gotta go on the back roads. And by back roads, I mean dirt roads. There's no fucking road here. We have a road like this out by where oh, I live. Right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. There's a new face. Uh-oh. <laughs> I backed the car up so far I can't even see the fucking person I'm talking to. Uh, yes. yes. Indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. What's up, Roberto? He looks like a straight up mail. lumberjack, too. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the? Doesn't that sound good. Doesn't sound Time good. to pry. I'm nosy like that. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. True. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Nope. That's all you get, baby. A job's well done. Let's go left and continue exploring. And then perhaps... Perhaps after we go left... I'll grab some ice cream on the way. Open up the window. Yeah, open up them windows. I wish this thing went faster. And I wish I could run over pedestrians. Like, what is that? Come on now. They definitely got that if steam. And if pedestrian in front break hard this is close to where i had my first kiss tmi tmi meredith I'm about to chill with that as i recall no one asked i wonder if uh yeah i didn't stop I wonder if uh, 
they had a whole team dedicate like uh, what like 30 songs for this game to make it more lively with the radio well we're back oh my god I need to run that person over oh my god I can't because she's under the stupid building all right, Providence Oaks, we're back. Weiss Residence, Tuesday evening. What's the next day now? Oh, I just TP to my house. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. Hi, Mom. I'm I mean, doing great. No, no need to stress it's out, Mama. So relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. I wish I had the that's thing with like the not to drive the, the knob anymore. and the pedal and the. Oh my God, this would be perfect. I'd be out here driving. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already, and then there's the late night poker with his new. Buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. I'm definitely reading a, or not reading a book. Let's I'm watching TV. On TV tonight. Can't be reading out here on my days off. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Thierry Henri? Did someone call me? I love how they position the window frame just to be in the exact spot the TV is so they don't have to put any effort into actually displaying something on the screen. Okay, so that was Tuesday evening. Now it's Wednesday morning. And just like that, we're on to our next day of deliveries, boys. Gonna lie, it's pretty, pretty interesting game. Maybe we'll do these on the next episode of Alejandro goes on lake and delivers and becomes a mailman. You already know.